Welcome. Here we are going to have a discussion on magnetism and electromagnetism. Basic questions that you ought to know as you are preparing for your exam. Remember to subscribe for more as uh, I'll be uploading more tutorials on physics and also in math. The main objective of this channel is to ensure that since the force, the thumb indicates the direction of the force, the direction. We also have uh, the first finger which represents the direction of the field and the second finger represents the direction of the current. The next question here we are given and we have part of uh, a permanent magnet of uh, a loudspeaker and we are supposed to draw the magnetic field and these are uniform magnetic field and we need to understand that this uniform magnetic field have got a, a given uh, condition that you must apply they are um, straight they usually have a uniform space between each other they are uniformly spaced you have to ensure when you're drawing this magnetic field they are pointing from the north towards the south that's those are the conditions that you ought to follow when you are drawing uniform magnetic fields and in this question we are supposed to draw three of them and this is what you are supposed to have as your final answer now we need to move to the next part and in this next part we are told that uh, describe the difference between alternating current and uh, the flow of the electric current keeps on changing direction and also magnitude now when current keep on flow in such a manner that it keeps on changing direction and also size frequently it means this is a type of uh, current which we called alternating current or ac current keeps changing direction and size uh, while uh, direct current is a current which Di um, which usually moves in one direction it flows in one direction and this is a type of current that is provided by cells and batteries now we're supposed to state the direction we are supposed to state the end to the right the thumb will point to the right which means this is going to act the paper cone is going to vibrate towards the right explain why the loudspeaker produces a type of current which is called direct current and then when we're using direct current the field that are created do not change direction then this paper cone is not going to vibrate in that way it's not going to work and that's what we are supposed to state in this particular part Welcome to another section. We're going to go further in magnetism and electromagnetic. Uh, the, uh, the reason is they're going to repel each other because of uh, having light poles. And this is according to the law of magnetism that unlike poles attract, light poles repel. So that is the reason you are supposed to give uh, this particular point. Now let me take you back to it. And for that reason, it's not going to be affected because it's made of plastic, which is a non-magnetic material. Non-magnetic that we're going to have here are going to be like that. Section of the fields moving to the notice that they are going. The, the reading is going to actually increase because of the increase of the force of repulsion. So that uh, that is going to be the case. So the reading is going to increase and the reading is going to reduce because now this case is going to cause the magnets to attract and in that reason the reading is going to decrease we need to identify some of the mistake in each of the diagram here uh, b seems correct to so listen at this particular point see also there is a mistake a correct answer is uh, need also to remember some of the properties of um, magnetic fields 
Uh, one of the property is that they point from the north to the south. Number two, they should uh, be continuous. There's no line there. Um, and also, do not cross each other. I think that's what we need to identify that point and where is that magnet is strong at that particular point. The correct answer is B in this case. Moving to the field uh, between the poles. And C is going to give us, you can see this one is not this will give us this kind of fields. Yeah, so going to give us magnetic fields, which are for this particular part is C. And steel, steel is the best material here, a magnet. Now, let us identify that. We're going to put a bar magnet on a flat table and then sprinkle iron filings on it. So we're going to have a paper, then sprinkle iron filings. We are going to tap um, the paper gently so that those iron filings are going to and they will form a pattern and this pattern is going to represent the fields of that I'm going to use a plotting compass in order to determine the direction so the next part actually that falls is going to be pointing towards it's going to be a repulsive force that is acting in which direction to the left the left and the reason is and opposite reaction force to the 0.045 after collision mission we are going to consider also the direction in this case and then we are going to say this is going to be this was 0 0.05 to the right so this is going to be written as 0 0.05 0 0.0 to final answer become 0 0.066 as that particular moment you need to remember that um, force equals to change in momentum change in momentum over the time taken and in this case we have the change in momentum of the force of 0 0.35 newtons then it's going to be to the right it's going to be to the right like that so here we're going to say the correct word is north and there is attraction between so talk of uh, steel and the magnetic materials to the south so iron is uh, all magnetic material magnetic field then it means that not pole and now the fields must be uniformly distributed like that pointing from the north okay uh, a knot is going to take place so in this particular part you have to say the iron ball the iron ball is uh, magnetized hence attracted towards the magnet an arrow on the diagram to show the direction of the weight all right so the direction of the weight will be acting downwards and ought to consider that particular point weight equals to mass times gravity or gravitational field strength which we're going to use in order to work out the equation below here now in order to get the weight i believe this is clear we are given from 165 millinewtons. So weight is going to be that difference, which is going to, going to divide this by 1000 with this. But remember weight equals to mass times gravity, and then mass is going to be equal to, mass is going to be equal to weight divided. Able to substitute that formula into that and then we are going to get our answer as that's what you are supposed to do and the main uh, reason as to why that happens is that um, the magnetic force increases whereas the weight remains constant now since the pattern force uh, is going to increase remember we said 
resultant force equals to magnetic force minus two. having that part the independent variable is actually the number of metal disks that we have here because soft iron core is easily magnetized so that is why that is the case we need to move further to the next we use to find the direction of the magnetic field and this is a plotting compass I mentioned that in the previous section so let us identify the mistakes in this part and you realize that in each other at this given point and then you need to understand that uh, the lines should not cross each other so they should not cross each other uh, moving further to the next part is to describe what's meant by the term hard magnetic difficult to magnetize but once magnetized it retains its magnetism for long it doesn't lose the magnet i believe you are a bar magnet and then the fact here is you have to indicate the direction of the fields in that they the next area magnet the fields of the magnet are actually going voltage is induced in the conductor and the amount of voltage induced depends on the strength of the magnet also de uh, depends on the number of turns depends on the speed at which the magnet is moved close to the conductor and in that way we are going